the, uh, there's nothing that people love more than tricks uh, for ch chicks with dicks. So today I'm going to show you a, a hot one. Um, Thank you. That's a hot one. A, a hot, a hot one here. So yeah, this is one of those uh, anytime, anywhere borrowed shuffle deck tricks. Um, so you're at a party and somebody says, hey man, sh show me a trick. And you borrow a deck, uh, you know, whatever cards they have. Uh, if, if you want um, if you want to look at a hot review, you should look at yesterday's video where I go over how hot this this deck is. So this is uh, one of those shuffle deck tricks, and you have the spectator uh, call stop here. And anytime and, that's um, a hot one. You have the spectator call call stop anytime they want here. Uh, let's say it's that card. It's the queen of hearts right there. That card uh, gets lost and shuffled by the spectator uh, in whatever way they want. Let's say they want to uh, completely fuck up their uh, their peak technique um, and have Charlie Miller turn over in his grave at where the fuck magic has come to and they drop all the cards all over the ground. That's fine. That's totally cool because that's that's part of it here. So they, they peek at a card here and uh, they mix the deck up. Uh, however it is that they want. Um, so once you get the deck back, you say, you know what, I'm going to take out some cards here, which I think might be your card, sir, uh, or ma'am. Uh, because honestly now nobody knows. So I'm going to take out some cards here that uh, might be your card here. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll go through. Uh, how about the uh, the three? I think the three might, might be one of your... Um, let's see... Uh, we got the, the five, that might be one. Uh, how about uh, the queen, we'll, we'll, go, we'll go for that one. And then uh, lastly, you know what, let's go somewhere. Uh, how about the uh, seven? It could, be, it could be any one of those cards. Um, it could really be any one of these. So you know what, I'm gonna give these a little bit of a mix here, um, just, to, just to feel. And I, I think this is your card right here. Honestly, I, I think that I got it. Is uh, the Queen of Hearts, is that it? Is that it? Multiple camera angle memes, is that? Yes, it's, of course it is. Uh, but you know what, here's the problem. It could also be, uh, it could also be this one. It could also be this, this card. Uh, it, it could also very well be this card. Or you know what, it could also be uh, even this card right here. So it could be any one of those queens at all. But uh, you know what, um, because I'm a magician, I'll make it easier to find out which queen is yours because uh, I'll just do one of these and it turns out that uh, all these all these cards are uh, are queens um, they all change to the queens so that lets me know that your card was this one this is your card and at that point you might actually get a uh, you might actually get some from a hermaphrodite so that's uh, that's that's definitely a really hot one. So for this trick, if you haven't figured it out, it's uh, it's a combination of ideas here. See, this is the quality I give you on this channel, and Im imagine the quality on, on on Patreon. Imagine those tricks. Oh man, it, it's almost worth throwing some hot hot uh, stripper dollars to check that out. But I digress. This trick is a variation of a previous trick that I've already put out on this channel because the tricks that I put out on my channel are not only tricks that you could do that stand alone by themselves, they're also tricks that you could adapt and change and grow into other things because That's a hot of one. how good they are. So uh, for this trick, it's a borrowed shuffle deck. You're pretty much combining the idea of an ace production that I did that I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna link up here. If, uh, you know, if I really feel like it, I'm gonna link it up here. Uh, it's an ace production uh, sort of idea that I did in a memory test using a spread call change uh, combined with uh, an idea by John Gustafero uh, also and a diminishing lift sequence. That's pretty much what it is. So uh, uh, I'm going to go fi uh, figure out how to... Um, I'll explain it. Uh, I'll, uh, so you have a, a borrowed shuffle deck. You have a card peaked at. Uh, let's say it's this one right here, Ace of Diamonds. What you gotta do is you gotta peek at that card. So you gotta do it in a, in a way that's not obvious. So the way I like to do it here is you get a break right there. You got a break there. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna ask the spectator if they could shuffle. And while you're doing this, uh, I'm 
helping Shane Diesel for the next scene move here, you're gonna ask him if they could shuffle and you're gonna move your hand like this. So because you're gonna, so you gotta, let, let, let's see, you gotta peek right here, you gotta break, you're gonna gesture if they could shuffle. At the same time, you're putting your thumb around the back here and revolving this whole thing, which allows the deck to step naturally and allows you to look right in there and get a peek at the card as you ask them if they could shuffle. So then you square this up after you get the peek and hand a deck to them for them to shuffle. So you've gotten your peak, you know the cards, the eight of diamonds, and you're ready to, to make, make love with the deck here. So uh, one more time for those of you that might not understand and comprehend basic instructions here. You get a, you riffle up the top corner, eight of hearts, then you get a break, and as you gesture, I'm gonna remove this hand right here. Uh, as you gesture, what's gonna happen is you're gonna ask them if they could shuffle the deck, you're gonna revolve this deck and get a little Pixies right here at that card as you say, can you shuffle the deck? And then you, you hand it to them. And of course you've got your peak and it doesn't matter at that point. So now what's gonna happen is you're gonna go through the process of that ace production. So, or that uh, whatever production that you did in, in that video, which is a spread code change. But briefly, let me go over it here because, uh, uh, because YouTube. So we're gonna, you're, you're gonna spot the mates of the card that you pick. So in this case, it's the eight. So every time we see an eight, what's gonna happen is we're gonna get that card and call it to the back of the spread here. See that? So we see an eight and we get that card and call it to the back of the spread here. So that card's writing in the back. Then you pick out whatever random card you want. You go, oh, you know what, ace of clubs, well, that would work fine. I think that might be your card. And you're gonna do the switch here. So the switch is that you're gonna square this up lightly and turn everything over in your right hand and thumb off that card, which if you haven't guessed it, is the card that's now that you have called. So I'm gonna do that again here as I find another ace. So again, you're spreading, you're finding an ace here in this case. Uh, if, if you're in this situation, I'd skip it and go for another ace. If you're forced and you have to, what you gotta do is a very subtle move right here. You see that? You, you see that switch? You, you, that's, that's, that's definitely a, another hot one right there. So you. All you're doing is you, you come to the eight, a second from the top, you switch it here, and then you continue spreading, and you, uh, you say, oh, you know what, nine of clubs, that's a good one. Of course, the eight's still over here. So you square this up, turn your palm over, and thumb that card off. So now you have two eights on the table. Now what you are looking for is their actual card. So you spread, and you look for the actual card that they picked, in this case, is the eight of hearts. You, you do the same motions, but you don't do any switch. That's their actual card. And now you need the last eight, uh, which I, if I recall correctly, you, and the, the excuse for looking through the deck here is, oh man, I'm just looking for different cards here. Of course, you're just looking for the eights to call it in the back and looking for random cards. Oh, you know, it might be the ace of spades too right there. So now what you have is their card in a position that you know, which is second from the top and the rest of the cards being mates of that card, man. Yo, this is a, uh, I already see where this is going. This is really quality, quality card magic here. C cunt. So you have the, uh, you could, you spread these, do these little wiggle, wiggle action with these cards here. And you need this eight to be third from the top here for a diminishing lift sequence. So what's gonna happen here is you could give the deck whatever mix you want, as long as that eight ends up third from the top. And what's gonna happen is a diminishing lift sequence. You could either do the pull down method right there that they, uh, that they talk about in the Catholic Church, or you could do the push method here for that. So what's happening is I'm putting pressure on the upper right corner and allows me to reach my, my dirty, uh, dirty wet back hands in here and grab these cards as one and turn over the whole thing to show an eight. So I'm doing a triple lift, but it's not really a triple lift because all I'm doing is buckling and putting my, my, uh, my feces ridden hand and turning over all those cards as one. So that's the first one right there. You go, I feel like this could be your card, but don't tell me anything. And you're gonna do the same thing again here. Now what's gonna happen is you're gonna hold this card in your right hand and you're gonna repeat the actions. So these sneaky fingers, you're holding this card, which they think is an eight of hearts, and these fingers are open here. So these fingers could very well turn that card over and show another eight, and that's a double now. So you're repeating this action again and going, ah, oh, it could be that card too. Uh, you know what, it could also be this card. And this, this time I'm not doing any sort of lift, I'm just turning over that card, showing it to be the eight of hearts. And this last one, you're doing a switch here just to show all the cards as eights. 
So what's gonna happen is that I'm gonna grab the bottom card here with these fingers as this card gets pushed out to the left with, uh, with my left hand and gets turned over. You, you see what that does? Yeah, boy. Oh, there's an eight there and there's an eight there. So that gives the illusion that that is the last card. I'm gonna drop some slow motion on that. Some, um, um, uh, some Asian rice field. Uh, I work so hard, but I'm seven years old, uh, slow motion there. So here we got it. Man, that's, that's, that's really good. And at this point you could do a frustration count if you want to show all the cards being eight of hearts. The frustration count, of course, is showing the bottom card thumbing off the top card. Bottom card thumbing off the top card. Bottom card thumbing off the top card. And finally, the top card here. And then you're ready. You do a little magic move. One of these. Ugh! And uh, you could then show all the eights to have changed um, into the other mates here, making it very easy to find their card. So that is a really, really good trick. It's, it's uh, not to, to um, jerk myself off here, but this is a hot trick because it's a borrowed deck, it's shuffled, and then you have changed all these supposed cards that you think is their card into the mates. It's, it's a good, it's got some mental stuff, it's got some hard magic. Man, if that doesn't deserve some hot stuff, then I don't know what does. Uh, so you practice that. Uh, I'm gonna go figure out ways to uh, be able to try to make sweet love to playing cards and not get judged. I see you again when 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 I see you again. When I see you again. When I see you again.